Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Shireen and I'm going to discuss with you about today a very important thing which people tend to sometimes ask and we get a lot of questions because we do a lot of business immigration and other ways of immigration to Canada. Uh, not just Canada, we do other countries as well. And in a few of the YouTube vlogs, you'll find that I talk about citizenship by investment programs and it is something that, uh, yeah, I, I promote. Like I am an active speaker about mobility and how globalization should be used in terms of your financial planning asset management and other things so one of the very important things that i'm going to discuss with you today and now very regularly in terms of episodes is uh, and today's one such episode that i would like to say and call it a company incorporation now a lot of clients ask me shireen is company federally incorporated provincial incorporation is important so one of the most important things in terms of uh, this question is that what are you looking at now there are obviously certain benefits when you are incorporating incorporation has certain benefits over uh, you know a, maybe a, a partnership or an LLP or an LP so the form of structure in incorporation is the in is important and the pros of this one of the biggest pros is that the company is acts like a corporate veil and when it acts like a corporate veil all your assets all your uh, dividends everything belongs to the company you can actually take out dividend from the company the company is a separate legal entity uh, one of the very important cases in which you know back then when we read corporate law is that uh, Solomon versus Solomon where the company first time the corporate veil recognition of a company was made and and uh, hence it is very important for you to know that the benefits of incorporation are really uh, there are many benefits you into Canada you tend to save a lot of taxes on corporation which you cannot do on a private company like yours uh, just uh, like a self uh, in incorporated company so yeah I always recommend my clients that you have to think about long term and if your uh, income will cross certain amount then of course incorporation is better so as a business uh, structure for entrepreneurs deciding the business structure is very very important decision that you make sometimes sole proprietorship what they can tend to do is uh, even though they are great to register they are easily manageable they are one person company but one of the most important things you would want to see is that all your income is considered as personal tax and hence you don't want to be uh, taxed more higher than what your income actually is because you are unable to cut off any expenses or equivalent any of the expenses and that is when you want to separate yourself from your company and this is a this is like a if you are an entrepreneur with an ongoing business and everything even if you have a startup I would still say an incorporation is a better structure uh, because eventually if you want to grow the business then it is going to grow and the other thing the other con with the sole proprietorship I feel sometimes uh, business owners they tend to uh, they want to raise capital for their business which is very difficult when it comes to a sole proprietorship like nobody trusts a sole proprietorship so easily whereas an incorporation is obviously a stronger document in terms of uh, capital uh, raising some capital for the company the other con that i feel with the sole proprietorship is that it becomes if you in future you want to sell your business it becomes really slightly on the difficult end because there's a capital gain tax which will act as a barrier and most probably you will have to clear all your debts before reselling it uh, the other thing uh, which is very important again which an incorporation will give you is a liability protection now when it as i spoke about the corporate uh, liability the uh, similarly here is that there is no liability protection and hence sometimes you want to be protected sometimes it's actually you know, on it should be on the company rather than should be on your personal thing um so yeah overall if you ask me in terms of asset management financial protection company growth so as an entrepreneur i myself can tell you that incorporation is a better form of going uh, but again it depends on what kind of a company and tax liability you're looking at um, it is very circumstantial you should take advisory of some uh, seasoned person in this uh, in terms of your business and kind of business that you are doing um, basically if you uh, if you go through a process or uh, as an entrepreneur if, if you go through a process of business structure in canada or anywhere across the globe um, there are certain fundamentals that one should have 
safeguarded from the very beginning and hence i uh, always tend to advise my clients that this is one of the most important things you should decide beforehand and with this i come to the end of my short youtube video but i'm going to talk more about asset management fund management how you can uh, safeguard your personal assets how you can safeguard and globalize yourself mobilize yourself mobilize your income and as well um, with global mobility programs i do feel that now is the time that people should be using it and uh, you know you should be aware about uh, how you can grow in your business how your business can grow with you how sometimes taxes are not required and you're paying unforeseeable taxes uh, those things you can protect yourself from how can you dispose of your property and how can you use those uh, funds to manage them in a more proper manner you know these are basic issues of wealth management and asset management and uh, i do realize that people sometimes lack basic awareness and awareness is the thing awareness is one of the most important things so yeah stay tuned for more such content on my channel and um, once uh, any comments or anything that you would like to give me please put in the comment section i'll definitely try to take up certain questions on my facebook page instagram page or on the youtube channel so definitely get in touch if you have any question query concern with regard to company incorporations here or in ue or anywhere across the globe thank you